Hey everyone, it's the Ionic Guy. So today I'm gonna to be doing a range test up to Boston like I did over the summertime, but today is going to be in much different conditions because it is currently about 29, 30 degrees out. So we're gonna find out what my winter efficiency is and extrapolate that to what my winter range might be with mostly highway and a little bit of city driving thrown in. And we should be able to make it there in one charge and back, but it might be close, but I think we'll find out soon enough. So right now the car is showing 215 miles of range and 99% charge. The climate control is running, so I guess it dropped that number down to about 99%, but the car is still plugged in. I've got climate control on auto level one at 72 degrees Fahrenheit. The car's been preconditioning for about 15, 20 minutes here, so the cabin is relatively warm. The car was parked in my garage overnight where it was about 42 degrees when I got into the car and took a look at the temperature. So we're gonna hit the highway, hop on 84, and take that to the Mass Pike and over to Boston. Should be about an hour and a half each way, and I'll check in with you guys at 75%, 50%, and 25% if we get to that level. So if you'll recall in my video over the summertime when it was in the 80s, I was able to do about 287 miles of range in my Ionic 5 all-wheel drive SEL. And I was very surprised by that number. I was not expecting it to be that high. I don't think we're gonna even break 200 on this trip to be perfectly honest, but I might be surprised. So once I hop on the highway, I'm going to engage highway drive assist level two at 74 miles per hour. That's the speed I like to cruise at on the highway around here. And then when we get closer to the center of Boston, that speed's gonna have to drop to about 65 and then eventually down to 20s and 30s in the city. I'm also going to engage eco mode like I did in the summer test so that only the back wheels are providing most of the power on the highway. And that should give us the best case scenario in terms of range that we can get. So. I'm going to bid you guys adieu right now and hop on the highway and we'll see what we're at at 75%. See you then. Hey everyone, just hit 75% state of charge. We've gone 53.6 miles, <clears throat> averaging 2.7 miles per kilowatt hour. And we've been driving for 50 minutes. Current range estimate is 162 miles. And the outside air temperature has increased from about 29, 30 degrees to 35 right now. That would put us at a estimated range of 216 miles total. So definitely less in the summer, but we'll check in again at 50%. See you then. Hey everyone, it's a couple days later. I did have an unexpected trip yesterday, which took me about 15 to 20 miles. I don't know exactly how far but now my battery's sitting at 51% state of charge and it's showing 101 miles on the range estimate. And I have 85 miles to get home. So that gives me a 16 mile buffer currently. So right now I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to push it or I'm gonna stop in Auburn, Mass and charge. So I've got Auburn in as my destination just in case I need to take a detour if it looks like I'm not gonna make it home. Right now it's 37 degrees out. I have the climate set at just fan speed level one just to try and conserve a little bit of energy and I have my seat heater on the lowest level. So anyway, I'm gonna hit the road. I'll see you guys at 25%. So I just hit 25% state of charge. I've got 49 miles of range remaining, averaging 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour. And it's gonna be close. Um, I had to unconnect my phone for audio when I disconnected Waze about a minute ago, it showed I had about a 17 mile buffer between getting to my destination and what my estimated range is currently. So it is gonna be close, but I did do that video several months ago where I showed that the car does have about a nine mile buffer in the battery past zero. So I am going to assume that I have enough charge to get home. It's gonna be close. As we approach Connecticut, I'm going to possibly slow my speed down a little bit. I've been cruising at 73, 74 miles per hour in eco mode with climate set on fan speed one and the driver's heated seat on. So I should be home in about a half an hour and keep your fingers crossed that I make it because there's no charging between where I am right now and my house. 
See you guys in a bit. So I'm back home and I arrived with 7% state of charge, 14 miles of range. The temperature is now 41 degrees Fahrenheit, so not too cold. Um, in total, today's drive was 84.5 miles, 2.7 miles per kilowatt hour, and that took an hour and 34 minutes. So in total for this trip, 185.2 miles, 2.8 miles per kilowatt hour, and a total driving time of four hours and 20 minutes. And if you do the math there, that equates to about an average speed of 43 miles per hour or so. So that's a good example of mixed driving, I would say. There was a lot of city driving. 43 miles per hour is about what I expect on most of my road trips. I'm never going to be doing just straight 73, 74 miles per hour to any destination. There's always going to be a little bit of stop and go and just slow speed travel at some point in that drive. So the breakdown of energy usage here was 93% to the drivetrain, 5% to the climate, 2% to electronics, and 0% to battery care. I need to do some more testing to see what battery care would be at had I used uh, winter mode on this trip. I'm going to go back and forth with uh, winter mode and see what that does. Granted, I don't know how important winter mode is anymore. Hopefully in the next quarter, the next three or four months, all Ionic 5s won't have a specific setting for winter mode anymore. We'll all have the battery preconditioning option. So it's probably a moot point from here on out. So. I don't know if I'll spend that much time delving into it. So yeah, this is the accompanying relatively cold weather range test to my summer range test. It was more or less the same distance, kind of the same course. So yeah, about 200 miles, which is good enough for me in the winter time. Obviously 250, 300 miles would be ideal, but unless you're driving at just pure 35 miles per hour, you're not gonna get there in the winter time. So anyway guys, thanks for coming along on this trip with me. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.